Training camp is underway. Fans are pumped and now comes word of negotiations for a brand new stadium. Good evening. I'm Claudine Ewing. Today, the Buffalo News is reporting that talks have started and that Pagula Sports and Entertainment has a $1.1 billion proposal on the table for a new stadium in Orchard Park. It would be $1.5 billion if you add renovations for KeyBank Center. Here's what's interesting. According to the Buffalo News, the bill's owners want taxpayers to pay $1.1 billion for a new stadium. I checked in with the New York State Assembly Majority Leader and she confirmed the talks. I do know that there has been an ask from um, the Pagulas. Uh, I know that the governor and his team have been in communication with them. The $1.1 billion uh, figure that's being floated out there, is that the number that you've heard from the governor's office? That is the number that I heard, yes. But it's early in the game. Everybody who is in the process is always going to start at their highest game. But I think when, at the end of the day, I don't think that this can be a totally taxpayer-funded initiative. Are you part of the discussions at all? Well, just to, the two, just to the fact that, you know, the governor and his team has shared with the delegation uh, that there's been a dollar figure put on the table. There's no way anybody's going to build a billion dollar anything in New York State without incentives. That state senator, George Borrello, he doesn't think the public should pay the entire bill. New York State is probably the most costly pl place for them to build the stadium. And uh, as a result, uh, that's probably going to mean the, uh, some kind of a, of a public participation if they want to keep the bills here. There is a potential for private investors to invest in building stadiums. They've done it in other communities, and I hope that that's not something that we will leave off the table. The new stadium, according to the news, would be in Orchard Park, not downtown Buffalo. Clearly, that would be a preference for me. But honestly, um, Colleen, I, I don't want to spend the next two years with our community debating on where the new stadium should be. I'd rather spend that time on determining that there will be a stadium and that we can figure out how to put the resources together to do it. People Stokes and Borello both want the bills to stay. The longer it takes to negotiate a deal, the less likely it is to happen. Sources tell the Buffalo News the team is not threatened to leave Buffalo, but other cities that won an NFL franchise would be willing to pay for it. A tweet from ESPN reporter Seth Wickersham cited an unnamed source in Bill's ownership who mentioned Austin, Texas as a possibility.